Welcome to Your Biz Live. We are at Bebop Sensors and we are going to learn about their new data glove. One size fits all so everyone can get in the game. You're watching YBL TV. We're at Bebop Sensors and I am talking to Keith about their data glove for AR and VR applications. So Keith, show me that glove. It's a fully featured data glove. It has sensors for each knuckle. I'll show you. Uh, there we go. And you can see it moving. And it fits all. And it's battery operated. It'll run for two days, Bluetooth or USB. And there are haptics. There are actuators in the fingertips and palms. So when you like grab a sword, you'll feel it. Or if you touch something, you can get a sense of the texture. So it provides that feedback that closes the loop in a virtual environment. Excellent, and you were telling me that this is very competitively priced. You said it's a one size fits all, so this is for everyone for every application, right? Correct, it'll sell in stores along with other controllers that are less featured. And a glove has been the traditional way to navigate in virtual reality. You point somewhere you want to go, you want something to possess, you grab it, you need to reload, pick the ammo. It's very intuitive. There's no learning curve. Excellent. So uh, you, you are showing us a few things on the screen here. Yeah, I can show you. I can uh, be a virtual Jose Feliciano. And now, how many iterations has this glove seen? Is Whoa. this a model two, three, four? Keep going. <laughs> this is uh, number five. Uh, I started on it four years ago, and I was determined to finish it. I pretty much always finish a project, no matter how stupid it may seem. And uh, version four was almost mm -hmm. there, and then we brought it to the platform companies that make games, and they all said it has to be one size fits all. And so it's like making a three-piece suit that everyone can wear. Uh, we actually did it. We've had over 300 people uh, at this show try it on, large and small, and it's worked for everybody. And what are some of the features that, that make it uh, accessible to, to people of, with all different sizes? So, Well, each of the fingers are stretchable, as you can see, and uh, there's no bottom part to it, so it's a very airy feel. So you can play for hours and uh, not feel like you have. And um, the ability to easily attach and put it on and off is a good thing. And then the actuators here really drive it home. People are always surprised when they feel something that they've touched in the virtual space.